Okay, hello. So I watched this movie, Basic. This is one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. I The only reason I watched it, I think, was because um, if you look up... Like, I'd seen The Usual Suspects not that long ago. And I think it's really cool, really fun, really good movie. And if you look at uh, recommendations, this certain movies come up. Like, what other movies have twists and surprises and what good thrillers are there? And sometimes this movie, Basic, gets mentioned. It's not a good movie. I think it's pretty mediocre or not even that. Like, yeah, just pretty pretty average. It feels like the writing feels very juvenile. feels like a kid wrote it, like a teenage, like if a fifth, let's say an average English student in year nine or ten wrote this script, you'd be like, that's pretty good. Like for them, you'd be like, hey, that's, that's a solid effort. <laughs> that's, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's what it felt like. This faux, it kind of reminds me of, um, a lot of TV shows where they just, they, everyone says the exact perfect lines t to each other, just acting tough and like trying to, it's, it just feels awkward with the, is it Connie Nielsen? Yeah. And John Travolta, their chemistry, just, uh, I don't know, try to be tough. It's like the, it's weird. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get off on that kind of thing. I think just my attitude, like I like a woman who's just nice, who's nice. I don't get all the having to insult someone and then that's, I, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, this movie, uh, yeah, I, I guess if you haven't seen it, I don't recommend it. I, I think it's stupid. It's, uh, Roger Ebert's review is interesting. He, it's a kind of like, it's, it's a ride that's not really worth it at the end. You're at the whim of the filmmakers. It, it's mildly interesting in terms of, you know, different points of view and who's I think actually the biggest problem with it was that it all felt kind of amateurish. It wasn't interesting in the first place. The twists are arbitrary and it doesn't feel like there's an actual solid thing at the core of it or a meaning to it. And the twists are so stupid. Like it's just like things that you think like that doesn't make any sense. I'll, I'll give it an example. So this could be a spoiler. They find out a certain character is black. <laughs> that like... Uh, how do you, th they're, they're, they're finding out the details of something that happened before and someone's name is wrong and it turns out, oh, that was the black guy or, you know, like, it's like, do you not have any records of these soldiers? You don't have photos of them at all. You don't know what they look like. How could you get mixed up? I forget the name, but, you know, so it's like they're talking about Jackson this whole time or something like that. And they think it's a white guy when actually, no, that was the black guy or vice versa. And it's like, you don't have photos you don't have any reference that's insane that's ridiculous you wouldn't look this up you wouldn't have some details on their background you know and, and then it's not clear why these people are lying and especially especially towards the end it just goes full retard you know <laughs> famous saying never go full retard it goes ridiculous like one level on another but not not in a smart or clever way and not even in a and in a music way just as completely stupid like just throwing it away I think, but the worst thing about it was it was kind of boring. It wasn't, to me, particularly well acted. The script is very weak, uh, really weak. It really feels like a kid wrote it. It's not, what's, there's no cutting lines. It all feels like the obvious, you know, aha, and, you know, everyone's acting more tough than they are and smarter than they really are when the movie itself doesn't seem intelligent at all. I, I really don't feel like there was much going on. And the story keeps changing. To a just to a to a comic level, but I don't think it's meant to be funny. It reminds me apparently someone uh, what's I think the movie's called Vantage Point or something with Dennis Quaid. A friend told me that when they saw it at the cinema, like a guy actually audibly groaned or like complained, said like what the like uh when it because it keeps showing the same thing from the same point of view. I felt a bit like that with this, like oh come on really. Now we're going to show the same events from another point of view, or just another lie. I think it's safe to say 90% of the movie is just lies. And, but yeah, again, not in like a meaningful way, not in a significant way. It's just arbitrary. I, I really lost interest. So I don't even know why I watched it. I highly recommend not watching it. Just avoid it. It's, it's, it's very average. At best, it's slightly interesting and kind of like, okay, you know, yeah, this pretty ridiculous twists going on there but yeah anyway all right bye